Okay, it's May 7, year 2009. Let me show you uh, one of my uh, multimeter collection. Okay, uh, okay. Let me show you here. There, my oldest multimeter is the Simpson. Okay, it's a. Uh, this is a very vintage uh, multimeter. I guess this is a. Uh, since uh, pre-war time, Simpson. This is uh, I bought it from my father's uh, friend. He bought very cheap. Uh, this one it's very it's a mint condition, perfect uh, working condition. There, very mint, and it's a top top band, so it's shock proof. Okay. I just recently bought it from my father's friend. He sold it to me for. 3,500 pesos. That's roughly how many dollars? About 70, 70 dollars. Okay. Here you can bought it here in the Philippines. A brand new unit is sold five years ago. A brand new unit sold about 16,000 pesos. That's about uh, 300, uh, 300 US dollar. Okay. I love this uh, multimeter. Was when I study electronics in the maybe 78, the, I see my teacher, my uh, professor is uh, using this uh, multimeter. That's why I love uh, I love this uh, multimeter so much. Uh, okay, there Simpson uh, 260. This is a very classic uh, multimeter. Okay, and here's my father's uh, Sanwa. This is a uh, this is equivalent to VTBM vacuum tube uh, voltmeter but this is a solid state vacuum tube voltmeter it's a em360 3m300 with a uh, 10 mega ohms per volt dc the impedance look almost the same uh, impedance as the vacuum tube okay you know when he bought it my father always put a date and the price whenever he bought something there <laughs> He bought in November 3, 1978 for only 370 pesos. Okay. There. Last time I tested, it's still working. The, the problem is the batteries are uh, always drain up. Okay. okay. And let me show you my, uh, this is my common tester. I, I love to use uh, analog multimeter. Okay. For basic my troubleshooting, I prefer analog multimeter. I guess this is the most popular multimeter in the world. This is the uh, Sanwa 360. Okay. There's uh, many variants of this. This one has a built-in uh, case there. I have a carrying case. I bought it in Singapore. There. I have a lot of this. I get. I get. I have three. Three, uh, the original three, uh, three sixty, three unit in my in my office. Okay. One nice thing about this, uh, this tester, this tester do not use a nine volts battery, cause uh, most uh multimeter uses nine volts battery to measure the higher resistance, but this one do not use a nine volts battery. It has even has uh times one hundred k. I guess inside there's a amplifier or transistor. That's why there's an on-off switch here. So whenever you don't use it, you have to put it in the off position. Okay. I love this uh, tester, analog tester. It's also a tout band. This is the tout band. There. Tout band meter, drop proof. Okay. Whenever you buy an analog meter, make sure it's a tout band. Okay. And this is not a, I guess this is not a tout band, but very sensitive. Okay. See my oscilloscope still working. <laughs> still working, huh? Okay, guys. Let's see. Uh, after twenty-five years, let's see uh, you in a year. What's that? Two zero three five. Two zero three four. Okay. And here's my other uh, audio generator and there, power supply. 
Okay, that's about it. Okay, this time I'll show you my digital tester. There's my digital testers made by Radio Shack. Uh, okay, very nice, very huge display. Okay, and there's even uh, a stand where you can easily put it in a bench. Okay, I love this multi tester because it's a uh, very versatile. You can measure frequency here. There's a frequency. You can measure the transistor gain, the logic, continuity tester, diode, the ohmmeter. You can measure capacitor, capacitor, and the voltage. Okay. One thing I like about this uh, multimeter is you can connect this to a PC. See, there's a there. There's a five wire here. And there's a serial port. You can connect this to a PC and make it as a data logger. Okay. One time I've been using this one to monitor the the condition of my battery. Nice. And remember, I it comes with even a word on a Windows and a DOS a uh, DOS computer. <laughs> there. And here's another of my uh, cheap, uh, this is uh, a cheap, uh, cheap multimeter. Anyway, small, I like it because it's small. There, yeah. you can uh, carry, any, carry it anytime, anywhere. And here's another uh, scope. I guess this is the world's smallest oscilloscope. <laughs> also made by uh, Radio Shack, but I guess this is some. Um, Made by a German company, we call it now a uh, Wittig. Wittig, Wittig. Yeah, I seen uh, their uh, new their website. I think they they already faced out this uh this portable uh, oscilloscope. I like it. Very small. Here. Yeah. I guess I show show this before. There's a. Uh, Software for DOS and for PC work on Windows 3.1. There, Probsco version 4.1 for Windows and DOS. And I see uh, somebody able to uh, make it work on a Linux base. Okay, it's a standard serial port interface. There. I guess if I have time, I can make a, I can make a program. Okay, there. Yeah, I see. I, I shown this uh, before. Okay, so maybe you can look at my uh, YouTube uh, video for the actual demo. I guess this is the world's smallest oscilloscope. You can bring it anytime, anywhere. I love this. Okay, that's about it. Still working, huh? <laughs>